SSIS learning module is going on and in this video we will talk about the package and project parameters and variables. Integration service parameters allow us to assign values to the properties within the packages at the time of package execution. And the parameter feature was introduced in SSIS 2012 and before to that the configuration option was used for this same purpose. There are two kinds of parameters. Uh, project parameters and package parameters. Project parameters have the project level scope. If we have defined the project parameters, these parameters are accessible in all package within the SSI project. While the package level parameters have the scope only within the package where they were defined. So parameters make our projects dynamic. We can uh, send the value from the outside of the project through the parameters uh, and we can uh, like the connection string we can pass from the outside to our project to make it the dynamic. So let's move to the uh, SQL Server data tool and we will see there how to create the parameter. This is the SQL Server uh, data tool and this is our uh, first SSIS project we have, which we have created in the previous videos and now we will go to create the parameter. This is the package uh, and they, these are the package level parameters. We can create the package level parameters here and if for the project level parameters this option is coming here. If we will double click we can use the project parameters here. So I'm going to create the two project parameters. One is the um, server name which I will pass from the outside to this package and one is the uh, initial catalog the database name. So I will create here the parameter So first parameter name is PRG server name where I will pass the server name and its type will be the string and default value I can set here I can give the default value. Uh, this is the server where I have configured the SQL Server uh, Integration ser Database Catalog. And this is another column which is saying that this parameter is has a sensitive information. Sensitive mean that they like the password or something like this. And it, this parameter is compul compulsory. It's required. So I will ch check the true value if it's required. And uh, the second parameter, I will create the initial catalog, which is the database name. And its type will also be the uh, string. And here I will use the my database name, which is a trading DB. And these options I will keep as it is. And I have created two parameters and now I will configure these parameters in the package I will use these parameters for with the connection string for this this is my con uh, destination connection the SQL server connection I will pass these parameters from the outside and I will configure with this one here in the expression uh, I will open this expression by clicking and uh, here I will use the properties this initial catalog property will be passed by the parameter and uh, here are the my parameters I can use the initial catalog parameters by drag and drop here and I can evaluate the value there is this is a trading DB default value and the second is the server name I have to pass through the parameter this server name and for the server name I can use this parameter which I defined at the project level. This is the project server name. So I evaluate that this is the default value is coming. So like this way I can uh, I can make dynamic I can pass the for all these uh, per properties the values through the parameters like I pass the these two properties values through the parameters. So I have created the parameters. Now I will 
you deploy the project and we'll see what will be happened in the SQL Server catalog DB uh, when by using this parameter. So let's deploy the project. Sorry, I have to click on the project and deploy. It will build and then it will deploy the project into the MySQL Server catalog DB. So this is the my server where I will deploy. I have already configured the uh, catalog DB there. So I will connect with this one. You have to make sure your uh, SQL Server integration service is, is running. If it's not running, then there will be some error will come. You have to check and run the integration service. And this is my path where I already deployed the project. So it will be replaced by this deploy, uh, deployment. So I'm going to deploy. The steps have passed and it's in the phase of the deploying and deploy it finished. So now I will move to the SQL Server Management Studio to check my deployment. This is the SQL Server Management Studio and this is the integration service catalog and this is a catalog DB where the projects deployed and this is my folder where I'm deploying the project. So I will refresh and I will check my project and in this project this is my package. So this is the package. I will execute the package and I will find there the parameters which I defined in the SQL Server data tools and these are the package uh, these are our uh, project level parameters which are coming and these are the default value which I assigned while creating these parameters. So now this is the default values. Uh, I, if I need to change these values, I have, I have to create the variables. So I will create the variables and I will give the values through the variables. To create the variables, we have the this folder environments. We will create the environment. Environment act as a container where we will create the tables. For one, in one project, we can create multi environments but for the at a time one environment we can set for the one project so let's see how it will be I'm going to create the environment I have to write the environment name first demo env so this is the name I give And now after creating the environment, I have to set this environment. I will go into the properties and there I will create the variables. This environment contain, uh, act as a container and here in this container we can define multiple variables. So first variable is the initial catalog. We can write v initial catalog and its type is string. So the default value we can specify. This is the database name I have to specify. It's not sensitive and the second is server name. V server name and it's also the string type and default value is this my server name where I have to deploy so the variables I have created two variables in this environment first demo environment so now I will assign this environment to my package to use the values for the parameters from these variables we have created the environment now we have to configure the project for to use this environment and here is the configuration option for our project to use the value for these parameters from this environment so in click the references add this environment this first demo environment okay and uh, here in the parameters we can see there's the 
it has to use the use the environment variable values so we can specify here the initial catalog value these are the variables which we are creating the environment so the projects the server name should also be used from the variables which we are created in our environment and this environment is available here because we have configured and this is the server name variable which is coming from the environment so now the values for this uh, database name and the server name will come from from the variables so configure it and press ok so now we have configured the package to use the uh, values from this environment variables so now i'm going to execute the package and the, now that there is no default value is coming i can uh, click this one to use the environment so when i click this one so it will check the values from this environment variables we can create multiple environments in a project but at the same at same time we can use only one environment in one package it's like this one we can select only one environment and then this environment will uh, uh, take this parameters value will come from this environment so i can execute the package because i have the 32 bit environment i will execute now the package and the package will be it will give the report will give us its the uh, execution uh, status for this package the package is succeeded and all the tasks in this package is successful and this is the time for each task the, how much time is taken by the, each task so now if i will go to the my this uh, query analyzer and I, I will check the this query it will give me the records in this table so this is the destination table which i used in this uh, package and there are already uh, rows in this table so now there is more rows added uh, if i will truncate the table and i will execute the package again so it will add the 18 rows in this table because uh, we have our source have the 18 rows and uh, these 18 rows will be inserted into the destination when i will execute the package so i will execute the package again now there is no record in this table so after execution 18 records will come i will uh, click this one to use the environment variables and i my environment is 32 bit i can use this environment i will execute the package and the package is executed and no need to see the report again so the, uh, the now i am going to execute the query there must be 18 records so the records are 18 and which came from the source which is the excel file so in in this way we can set create the parameters and we can configure the these uh, environments